Hi, I'm Steve Walters of American Photonics, and today I want to go over with you uh, the uh, focal point tolerance chart. Now, this is this right here is a chart that uh, I've seen uh, for years. Every time somebody wants to know and understand why you would use a one and a half inch or a four inch, for what reasons, this is the chart that people pretty much are the, the people share to show why you would do such a thing as that. But it's also something every time it's shared, I stare, I, I stare at it and it, it kind of triggers the OCD uh, side of my personality because although there is some truth to this, it really is, it, it doesn't cover a, a, anything. Uh, I don't think it's, other than teaching you the thought behind it, it doesn't give you any information that's practical. So I just created this and I want to go over and explain it with you, okay? So the first thing you'll see here is I have uh, three different columns uh, for different size uh, CO2 laser beams. So you have four millimeter beam, six millimeter beam, eight millimeter beam. You can check this by putting a piece of tape over your third mirror where the head is and you can burn it and you can measure the size of your beam. Uh, typically the 40 watt, 50 watt machines have maybe the four millimeter beam. And when you get up to the you know, 150, 180 watt tubes, you might see eight millimeter beam or even, or even bigger. Okay. Um, if you look at this part in the middle, you'll see what a beam will actually look like through a meniscus. And it's a little bit fatter in the middle here with a plano convex lens, but only maybe 20% more. Uh, you will have a small point here and you'll have a tolerance, which is A, which is what we'll call uh, your depth of focus. It does get smaller than this chart shows, but the range of that is so small that it's not really practical to even talk about. Uh, for instance, up here, 800 DPI on an inch and a half lens, your, your depth of focus is 1.15 millimeters or about six thousandths of an inch. You know, keeping your work, your, your wood at that, that distance and getting it that right is, yeah, it's almost impossible. So I'm not going to say, and, and again, and this also, these numbers are theoretical and would require a perfect beam alignment and a perfect lens. Now, I think my lenses are as good as they get, but it still depends a lot on how, how good you can do the lead beam alignment. All of these numbers are uh, r relative to how important you get your beam alignment. You have a, uh, so in this area, it says the divergent half angle changes with the beam diameter and the focal length. Well, that, that's the whole idea behind the four inch. You see it's a lot, it's a converges and then diverges much slower. So, you know, you have a longer depth of focus. And so now you understand the bigger beam diameter you have, it, uh, it actually comes in steeper on the outside edges than say a uh, four inch focal length with a four inch beam. So you're gonna have a longer depth of focus with a uh, smaller diameter. You know, technically, if you looked at the real, if, if I didn't round up all the numbers, the bigger beams would actually give you a, I mean, if you carry out the decimal points, like a few, uh, two more, three more points, I could take it down. I would see the bigger uh, beams can give you a smaller focal point, but it's, it's not practical at all. So that's, that's why you don't see beam expanders in these uh, Chinese machines. And it really has a lot to do with the beam quality and the, and the beam quality coming out of a glass tube compared to an RF tube. It's night and day. So that's why you never see beam expanders in these, these Chinese machines. On the drawing, I also put in here, as you can see, curve side up. Okay, very clear in here. So these numbers are half. So uh, it's plus or minus 4.6 on this comparison, which very, very closely matches the Chinese chart. And if you look at the Chinese chart, you're getting this one number when the reality, all of these numbers, depending on your beam, whether you want, you can get 400 DPI with a four inch lens, you know, depending on what you're doing, what you want to accomplish, uh, what number you want to use. So in the end, you actually have for this six millimeter beam, probably a hundred watt tube, you're going to have uh, 9.2 millimeters of depth of field, depth of focus. Uh, I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, please feel free to private message me, uh, write a message in the, com in the comments of this video, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Uh, thank you. Uh, and look for this. I'll put it on my website so you can download it and share it yourself. 
and hopefully we'll get rid of and, and stop, stop sharing a Chinese one that really doesn't give people the information they need and share this one. I think that'll actually help people who are trying to do real quality work.